Four weeks ago, I was in the bathroom crying, honestly sobbing with my girlfriend. Just like, felt like a lot was getting to me, it was a lot of pressure. Felt like things were just kind of hard and tough and I wanted to just quit, to be honest. I felt like I lost a lot of faith in myself and it was getting really hard to just push through. I didn't quit, obviously we're here today, but this morning before, or after prejudging, I had that same cry in the bathroom, but this one was a cry of gratitude and pride that I had pushed through and gotten through that. And Kobe said, I was chasing perfection and excellence, even though I knew I would probably never catch it. But just the fact that I was willing to chase it, I would defeat most of my opponents because most of my opponents would never chase something that didn't have any guarantees attached to it. And it's, it's these moments, it's this journey. And like, like, I felt this before having the trophy around my neck. It's the journey, it's the experience, it's knowing that you pushed past times where you wanted to quit. And you got done, you pushed through it. So to everyone out there whose dreams are scaring you, whose dreams make you want to quit, just don't quit, it's good. Your dreams should be big, they should be scary. Just keep pushing through. Chasing perfection and excellence, even though I knew I would never catch it. But he had the courage to chase it because he knew what it would turn him into. And most cats wouldn't even go down the course to chase it because it didn't have any guarantees attached to it. I have this thing, I say champion mentality. It's not about winning, it's not about a trophy, it's about having no quit. It's about giving everything you have so that when you show up on game day, before the results are over, you're proud of yourself and you know the work you put in. The guy whose last name is Lamborghini, he wasn't a car manufacturer, he was a man who owned tractors. But he drove Ferraris. And he went up to the Ferrari man because he knew something about engine parts. He made a suggestion to the Ferrari man about how his cars could be a little better. And the man who owned the Ferrari company looked at the tractor man and said, your advice is not important. Because see, sometimes you don't understand that there are Ferrari people now, but you have a Lamborghini destiny. And what he did is instead of arguing with the man who owned Ferrari, he went and created the Lamborghini and fixed what was broken in the Ferrari. And then let me tell you something, some of y'all keep arguing with Ferrari, would you just become Lamborghini? Why are you arguing with people, trying to convince them of your destiny? Would you just do something and would you just start something so that you can give all of us an alternative? Do you know you can be just as fast? You can be just as beautiful? You can be just as durable if you, you do done. something. You push through it. So to everyone out there whose dreams are scaring you, whose dreams make you want to quit, just don't quit. It's good. Your dreams should be big. They should be scary. Just keep pushing through chasing perfection and excellence even though I knew I would never catch it but he had the courage to chase it because he knew what it would turn him into and most cats wouldn't even go down the course to chase it because it didn't have any guarantees attached to it. I have this thing I say champion mentality it's not about winning it's not about a trophy it's about having no quit it's about giving everything you have so that when you show up on game day before the results are over you're proud of yourself and you know the work you put in. The guy whose last name is Lamborghini he wasn't a car manufacturer he was a man who owned tractors, but he drove Ferraris. And he went up to the Ferrari man because he knew something about engine parts. He made a suggestion to the Ferrari man about how his cars could be a little better. And the man who owned the Ferrari company looked at the tractor man and said, your advice is not important. Because see, sometimes you don't understand that there are Ferrari people now, but you have a Lamborghini destiny. And what he did is instead of arguing with the man who owned Ferrari, 